Well, this is awkward. Um, <laughs> hello there. Welcome back to CC2LP1. I think that's what the set is called. Uh, it's been a good amount of time since I've done a recording, and I keep. I, it tends to be a theme with me these days. Um, yeah, long story short, I just. I fell into this really severe state of depression and all these negative emotions and. I really needed some time to uh, compose myself and get my, basically get, to be blunt, get my shit together. And uh wanted to wait until I was at a more reasonable emotional state to go back into recording. So here I am back again in a much better mood for now until the next set of uh, emotions hit me like a train. So this is Three Mile Island, which is apparently where I left off. Uh, and this level is just straight up enjoyable. I had a lot of fun with this in uh, voting. Uh, it's a Jeffrey level, which uh, is uh, very cool. Made some pretty fun stuff, as he tends to do. And yeah, I haven't touched uh, much CC stuff in general. I mean, I've made a couple of CC2 levels, uh, particularly um, one for the Create competition for November, which was a ghost competition. And honestly, if it wasn't a ghost competition, I wouldn't have entered, more than likely. I, I since I think I even said this when the competition was was announced. I I legitimately only joined it because it was a ghost one, and I felt I felt obligated to do such a thing because pretty much all my ghost levels that I made up until voting for the set began. Uh, pretty much all the ghost levels I made got into the CC two LP one. Even ones like foiled in what we played last time got in. I I don't get how that got in, but it did, and I just have to accept the fact it did. I'm just clearing all the slime. I, I don't need to, but I am. Just because I can. Yeah, this is a fun level. Uh, part of me kind of wishes it was a bit more challenging. I guess challenging, but I, I feel like it could have been a little bit more. A little bit more so. Um, heck, I don't remember how to... Oh, I just do this. collect everything. Unfortunately, you can't go outside this level. I don't think you can. Unless this is... No. Okay. So the cool thing now is I can go for bonuses. These bonuses are pretty satisfying to get, I have to say. So you just do this. And there's that. Not a terribly hard bonus to get. Uh, 
All right, there we go. That is Three Mile Island done. Very fun level. Uh, nice slime level and uh, all that stuff. Outside the stacks are good. Very enjoyable. And we are on Repeaters by Joshua Bone. I actually didn't know what level was next. Repeaters are useful circuits with many different functions. Don't worry too much about understanding them. Just, just have fun. Yeah, that's pretty much what I all I can really say about repeaters and logic gates and as a whole. Okay, so this room got changed from voting. Interestingly enough, and I think it was something having something to do with the behave some some behavior that could have potentially been sh changed if CC2 ever gets an update, which is just hilarious to think about that being ever being a possibility. Okay. This room's a little weird. This also uses the walls of Foursquare, which is very interesting. Set the timer to at least 300, more to be safe. And there goes the annoying noises. I'm just gonna set this all the way to like 900, just screw it but yeah in terms of how I'm feeling I'm feeling better um, th in a nutshell all I can really say is 2020 has just been a really crummy year and not just for me but for a lot of people it's been it's arguably one of the worst years of my life, personally. And I, I know several who feel the same. Oh, I guess I have to wait anyway. Um, that's just how it is. It, it sucks, but that that's just how it is. Okay. I wonder if this will be an improvement. I don't think it will be. Yeah. Okay, well that is repeaters. A level I'm I don't really get, but the level says not to get them, so I will just move on with my life. And play Blocked In by Andrew Menzies, which is a CC1 port. Go back into the teleport if you want to explore the level from the outside. And this gives a pretty fun use of speed boots. You can't get anything out here. I, I, I kind of wish there was like some kind of bonus, but... I think it's kind of cool that there isn't one at the same time. Well, there is a bonus, but it's not out here, which is kind of a bum, a bummer, oh well. Apparently, that I think that speed boot was added, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this was not a level I was expecting to get into CC. 2LP1. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot to push that up. In 
it's definitely an interesting level. I, I like the CC1 version, and I'm kind of glad it... The only reason I'm glad I got into this set is because I, I don't think I liked it enough as a CC1 level to want to see it in a CC1 LP. So like CC LP5, I wouldn't have wanted to see this in, but since I got into CC2 LP1, it, now I don't have to worry about that being a... Uh, not, or not being not being a desire. Okay, this room, this room tripped me up. Uh, I don't remember how to do this. It's a pretty clever setup that I did enjoy. I think I want to move all these up one, like this. Okay, and then I think I just do the opposite. Oh. Well, that's... That's not good. Is that salvageable? I don't think that's salvageable. No, this block's not on a button, so no, it's not salvageable. Yeah, that little Sokoban really tripped me up. Very cleverly designed. So yeah, I made some CC2 levels uh, in the past couple of days, or week or so. Okay, let's just put that there. Um... Well, that works as well. Cool. Okay, now I think... Now I think I can move... Hmm. I'm trying to remember how to do this. This really is a very tricky bit. I think I want to commit to fulfill or filling in this bottom thing. So let's do this. And then Then that that doesn't that doesn't seem right. Wait. Okay, let's do this first. Then we'll do this. <clears throat> yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, now we can go on to the next room, which I think is this way. No, it's the other way. And I think, I don't think it matters which, I don't think, yeah, it doesn't really matter how you approach this, because you can go about the same. There. Okay, so now let's go back over here. I think you can extract a block this way. And this is what lets you, lets you get the bonus down here. Which is clever. And then... 
think you go through here to exit. The way this level is connected, honestly, is what makes it the most difficult. Oh, hey, cool improvement. Um, yeah, the way it's all connected is what makes it the most difficult, in my opinion. I think the rooms themselves are... I, I think except the Sokoban room, I think that uh, that had that had a good challenge to it. But otherwise, the connectivity of everything is just kind of all over the place. Alright, so that's blocked in. Very fun level. Now we're on Marine Science Museum by yours truly. So this is a very... Honestly, a very basic level. It was one of the first ones I designed for CC2. Um, not sure why railroads would be in a a science mu museum centered around water, but apparently that's the, that's what I wanted. I remember making that comment on the Discord server, and uh, I think JB is the one that commented saying, "Oh, it's like a kids' ride or something." Okay. So there isn't. I think there's an actual way. You don't. You don't need that tank. You can get this button pressed with a ice block, I believe. So let's do that. Let's do that fun method. I think you get a block to spare as well. Yep. So yeah, you don't you don't need that tank button. That was that was my attempt at making a cool block puzzle for kind of like the one that JB made for Science Museum in CCLP4. And clearly, I made it as such to where it's just oh, it's just doesn't work as intended. This room was made as a, oh hey, fireballs melt ice blocks. Which was a level much later in the set that I created. That, uh, will really put that to the test. <laughs> okay, now we have the final room. Which is this room. I think this used to be more annoying. There were there were a couple of revisions of this level. And I think this room was the most annoying originally, but I, I kind of made it as such to where it, it wasn't anymore. There we go. That is Marine Science Museum. That is honestly placed a lot later than I think it needs to. I think this could have been... I think this and Low Life could have swapped places, honestly. If I had to pick one, or I, no, either that or Poison Backyard. Yeah, one of those two, I think this could have replaced. I think this is a little too late in the set for it, but that's just my opinion. And we have another level by me, Forest Hub. And this is probably one of my favorite levels of mine ever in CC2. I, I, I am proud of this, even though it is fairly simple for my design style. Or, not simple, but it, it definitely has a lot of... Josh in it, if to put it simply. It feels so weird playing this level without the, the music that inspired this. So, as some people know, or some people may have uh, wondered or whatever, um, a lot of the levels I make in general are usually based on something uh, in the past it, it was a lot a lot of it was based on Pokemon music uh, I used to or I still listen to a lot of it but I used to use it as like my, my source of inspiration 
And when this level was created, there was a particular music track that I was highly fond of, and it was called Lush Forest in Super Mystery Dungeon. And I later made a level in Walls of Sea Subway 3 called Lush Forest, uh, which was basically a very dumb maze. Um, you can't go this way. It looks like this hub has been flooded. Very arbitrary reference to After the Rainstorm. I think the hint was rewarded because I didn't copy it correctly <laughs> initially. So basically, every time I every time I played this level in my own set, um, actually the the initial run of CC two LP one that I did off screen when the set released, uh, I did listen to that music upon playing this. It's it's a wonderful soundtrack. I I absolutely love it. And we're going to come back here with flippers, so there's no sense of getting that chip on the block. And this room is a very fun concept. I, I, I want to see someone take take this concept on to, like the, to the max. I think it'd be fascinating to see a no-key symbol maze. I think that'd be cool. I could see someone like VT doing that. Which, since I bring him up, I I kind of semi-promised a shout-out of some sort, and I kind of wanted to wait until something significant came up to give a shout-out for, not just make it arbitrary. And like, oh, here's a shout-out just because, you know. I, want, I wanted to make it kind of worthy, I guess. So I give him a little bit of a shout-out because... During my depressive phase and stuff, he did reach out to me a lot. And he normally does this often. With, whether it's like CC talk or whatever, it, he's pretty much one of the only members in the community who has ever reached out to me the way, the way uh, he has. Actually having conversations with me and not just talking about CC stuff. Um, no one's ever done that. I've been a part of this community for close to close to 10 years almost and this is the first time anyone's really come out reached out to me I think Tyler was the true first one but um, like that was back during Skype and stuff and with the spam chat and stuff I, I was very immature in the past and everything and so just during this depressive stuff, ET really reached out to me, and I I have to personally thank him for that. Uh, it really means a lot. Okay, bomb blockade. Uh, this is another CC one port that Ruben made. Actually, the only levels he made were CC one ports. This is an interesting one. It uses the walls of um, Toggle Tank from CCLP1. And it's, it's interesting because J, I played walls of CCLP1 that JB made and uh, he made a very he made a level similar to this involved bug cloners, which I thought that was fun. I'd I'd still love to see that in a CCLP at some point. Okay, so that ball cloner is basically useless. Okay, now I think I need to open that. Clone the last fireball. Then I unlock that. Okay, so now I need to use a block. So 
So let's grab the flipper and grab this bonus as well. Okay. So it's kind of a shame because you can just drop the flippers here and then clone the last glider you need. Or maybe not. Well, rest in peace me. That's why I should have dropped them. Okay, let's do that again. Maybe a little faster this time. No. See, that's what happens when I try to optimize. I don't do things right. Like right there. Okay, let's just clone all those. Unlock that. Get that pressed. And then die because I <laughs> didn't open the freaking ball thing. Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure everyone missed this about my videos. I mean, who really watches these videos, honestly? What's the point of even recording these? <laughs> I just do it because I have nothing else to do. I know people. Lo I know people watch. I don't need that. Oh yeah, but I watch your videos. Like, I I already know. I tend to to get hard on myself. Okay, so let's unlock that. Collect this thing. Okay, then put the flippers in the right spot. Alright, that is Bomb Blockade. I think that's a little easier because you can do the flipper drop trick. I'm not sure how you do it in CC1 without the boot dropping, so there must be a way you can use the block, which is unfortunate that that wasn't retained, but I mean, it keeps the set consistent with the boot dropping and not just have this one standout level that has no, no boot dropping. Which is good. I'm glad there are no levels in this set that that have that enabled. So that's cool. Okay, bit player. I don't remember this one too much. Okay, I know I want this. I think that's the trick you have to realize. Right. Because you don't want to... Well, let me... Uh... Oh, okay. I am not sure where that teleport goes, if anywhere. Oh.
Okay. So I think I'm going to have to collect one of these. And I don't remember which one. I know, I think you have to collect this one. Is that what you do? I think this is what you do. So I want the green key. And then you get the yellow key. Yeah, that's a weird level. <laughs> I, a lot of H's levels are just, in my opinion, a lot of his levels tend to become awkward, to say the least. I, I'm not sure how to describe his levels. I mean, I try, I, I try to look at it as, okay, him and I have the exact same amount of levels in the set. He, I know he designed a ton of CC2 levels. I think he designed like or submitted like 140 or so. And he got 25 in. I only designed 46 at the time and got 25 in. And two of them are collabs, mind you. So, But still, 50% of my own levels got into a CC2 official set. So I try to look at it as, okay, well, who's who designs better? <laughs> um, that sounds narcissist, but whatever. Uh, this is Electric Feel, which is a very fun electric level. Um, let's see, so this one... And there we go. This is a very fun elect electricity level. Absolutely love this in voting. It is... I think I critiqued the design of it a little bit. I know Andrew Menzies designed this. Um, okay, it's that one. That's what I'm missing. Okay. So I think all I need to do is just, just block that off. Oh yeah, this room. This is what inspired uh, a level I made for Flareon 2 called Electrical Code Violation. Yeah, I completely forgot that inspired it. That room inspired it. Okay, this room is really cool. Uh, this is a very clever puzzle.
actually. So I think I think I think I can drop it and explore. So this is the last chip I want to get. I think what I need to do is go up here, collect that. Then I can go down here with no problem. Um, I think I should have gotten that chip next. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go do that room first. I completely forgot about that chip. Even though I, I clearly acknowledged which chip was last. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, this room up here, I would, lo I would love to expand the concept on as well. And I won't tonight, but I might plan to do that in an upcoming CC2 design. Okay, let's do this room next. This room's a little... Honestly, all these rooms would be fun as levels on their own. Just expanded upon. Like I already did so with this with this room. Well, I wonder why there's no electric signs when this exists. I, that, that, the, the, I don't get why that mechanism exists if there's already no electric bolt signs there. Okay, what is it again? I think it was this. And then this. And this, this, and this. And there we go, with a big improvement. That is electric feel, very fun Andrew level. That's probably one of my, I think that's my favorite Andrew level in the set. It's creative, it has some variety, it's non-linear, as it's all themed on one tool, which is awesome. Um, yeah, very fun level. And I apologize for critiquing the design. That was completely nitpicky on my part, and just as a designer myself, I, I had no right to judge how a level looks. Just, it, it doesn't really matter how it looks. It, it's still fun. All right. Avic Des Reserves. I don't know how. I don't know what pronunciation that is supposed to be set on. So this is another movement restriction level. This one, Chip can't move left and Melinda can't move right, which is very cool. It's a very cool way to limit movement. Uh, the chip. The chip uh, side is is relatively easier <clears throat> than the Melinda side. I love the fact you have to do a second pass through as well. That's a nice touch. And that's because of the fire that you placed. 
Okay, this room is a little bit more involved, but nothing too complicated. I actually don't remember how to do this room. Okay, I just can't go right. I think what you want to do is you need to get a you need to get a block through the teleport. I think that's what you need to do. And there I go, screwing up. Okay, let's do Melinda first. Yeah, this room offers some pretty fascinating uh, block maneuvers, which I think is cool. Okay. All right, cool. Now we can do the chip part, which is easy. So I just can't move left. It's weird shifting to the different mindset for each character, but I'm glad each each one is distinct. Like this chip room is nothing close to the same as uh, the Melinda one. Yeah, H2O did something clever with that fire, that forced fire placement that made that requires you to go take a second trip. So that that was clever, and that was a fun level. All right, we are on Double Agent by Tyler Sontag. I feel like it's been a hot minute since we've seen a Tyler level. Uh, this one got a change for some reason. There's a key thief in the level now, and now there's chips counted for. But there is no socket, which was a leak in the CC2LP1 leaks, I believe, or one of the clues or whatever. Um, I'm not sure why there wasn't a socket included in this. It would have been pretty easy to include, I would think, but that's just me. So this level's kind of cool, because every single step you take, the doppelganger takes two. Okay. So, what do I want to do from here? I think I want to go push that. Now the doppelganger is perma stuck in the block pushing thing.
Okay, so now I think what I want to do is this. So yeah, you can just collect the chips, no problem, like this, and exit, but you don't need the chips. <laughs> I still got an improvement even with collecting them, cool. Okay, that is Double Agent. Fun fact, this is a level that was uh, split apart into its own level from Gimmick Isle Zero, which is a level in TS Alpha that I never played in the LP of that set because I was afraid of getting to that level. And that's why I stopped LPing it. That and Enter the Void uh, were, were the two main levels I didn't want to play in that. Uh, there was another level that was kind of like this, or it was a. It started off in Gimmick Isle Zero, but it split off into its own level called Better Off Red, which was in voting, but that was busted pretty badly, and it honestly wasn't even that. In it was an interesting level, but it was better off in Gimmick Isle Zero as a section of a level than a level by itself, in my opinion. Though, I say that and having not played Gimmick Isle Zero, so I don't know. Just, but I did play Better Off Red, so I think I would have liked it in Gimmick Isle Zero. I don't know. Uh, should I keep going? I don't even know how long I've been going on for. I'm trying to think. There's this level. I have level 88. You know what? I've played 10 levels. I play 10, and I think it's a good time to stop. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this surprise video. I'm going to try to keep a... I mean, you know what? I'm not even going to try to say it. I, I will record when I have the mentality to. I have no set schedule to do this. I have no obligations to do this. This is entirely on my own, by my own cho cho choice and such, and and whatnot. But I will, I do promise I will not abandon this LP under any circumstances. No, no matter what levels I come to that are difficult or whatnot, I will not uh, give up on this set. I do want to finish it. I especially want to get to the point where I stopped on my own time, which was level 153. And I'm over halfway there now. So I am looking forward to getting to that point, but that'll take a couple more videos for sure. And I'm hoping the pacing will pick up for those, but the levels are getting a little tougher here, and we're not even, we're still on the first 100. So. We'll get there when we get there, but I do promise I will keep LPing this. Just don't expect a Josh video every other day, every other every two days. Just you'll see it when you see it, and we'll go from there. But regardless, I hope this was enjoyable. I enjoyed going back into recording and playing these levels, and I might just jump into another recording session right now, who knows, but I do have to wake up early in the morning, so that will, be have, that will have to be taken into consideration. Uh, but until next time, we'll play Hydrochloric Acid Factory Disaster, because we need more factory disasters in CC. We already had a Hint Factory one, why not have a chlor Hydrochloric Acid one? Who knows? Uh, but thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and see you for the next episode, whatever number it is, because I don't remember off the top of my head.